Will the non-MagSafe compatible case uh, work with the Apple MagSafe wireless charger? So in this uh, video, we're going to take a look to see if the iPhone 12 still being able to charge wirelessly with the MagSafe uh, using a generic or a low-end uh, case. So uh, we all know that the iPhone has a, um, a, wild, um, a magnetic um, ring at the back here so that when you are placing on your uh, MagSafe charger it will um, automatically snap snap into place so let's take a look at the case so I'm going to put this case on this is a um, liquid silicone case um, it is um, relatively thin but not very thin it's kind of like in the middle between very thin and very thick so I'm going to place it on and then we're going to take a look so here I'm going to place on the uh, MagSafe charger and you can see uh, the phone uh, should uh, start charging uh, soon so there it is, it is now charging so you have to place it at the right place because there is no magnetic on this generic case so when you are uh, putting it against the charger sometimes it might not line up correctly so you want to make sure you placing your charger somewhere in the middle so that way you can uh, have your phone uh, charge even with a case on that is not compatible so um, this case is quite thin so I'm going to try a thicker case okay so this case here is relatively uh, thick on the side as well as the back you can see here uh, it's quite thick around the back here so let's put the phone into the case and see if it still charges So I'm just going to put it in here and then place it on the charger and you can see it's still charging uh, fine, there's no problem at all so I'm going to try another case again okay this case is really thick as you can see they're quite big and quite thick but the back here actually is quite thin so what really matters is the back of the phone it doesn't really matter if the side or the top is really bulky or big so what what is really important is the, the thickness at the back here so I'm just going to put the phone in and then we're going to test it out so I'm going to place it right somewhere in the middle and again we have no problem charging at all so there is no need to um, buy a really expensive case that has um, the magnetic ring at the back here you still can charge it even with a normal case like this where you can get them for between 10 to 20 dollars and you still be able to charge it it's um, okay now of course if you buying a uh, a compatible uh, MagSafe case then it will be a lot easier because as soon as you place on the charger then the wireless charger kind of like automatically align uh, in the correct position for you uh, without a compatible case then sometimes you need to um, manually kind of like get it to line up correctly and that's just the only downside to it but you still can charge it uh, no problem at all and that's it thanks for watching this video now you can uh, feel uh, safe to go ahead and purchase a non-compatible case uh, that still be able to charge with your wireless MagSafe. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos.